Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be my top 10 stocks as we head into Tuesday, September 21st. This will be a technical analysis breakdown. So if you are somebody that uses charts within your trading, or maybe you're just new to the world of technical analysis and charts, and you're interested in learning more about how they can be used to make good decisions as a trader, then this will be a video for you. One quick note before I do get started, just keep in the back of your mind that if you like what you see as I go through the video, but and you're wanting to learn more and take that understanding to a whole nother level, then I am offering a free live class this Thursday. So if you're interested and wanna get signed up, I do wanna personally invite you to do so. So if you're watching on YouTube, then down in the description box, there's a link you can click on. If you're at my site, claytrader.com, then somewhere right on that webpage, there's gonna be an area that you can click on to get signed up. So just keep that in mind. And if you like what you're hearing, you wanna learn more, then definitely get signed up for the class. First one here, ticker symbol SPY, just to give us an overall look at the markets, uh, unless you live under a rock, I I'm sure you're well aware that things got pretty dramatic out there today. Big gap down, and we are looking at the daily time frame here, which will be different moving forward, but I'll explain that here in just a few moments. But really, the, the big kind of dynamic moving forward is I have my eyes on two levels. The first level of support that I'm very curious of, are, is the price going to get down there, is right around that $420 mark. That seems to be something that's very possible. Doesn't mean that it'll happen, but it's really kind of that next overarching area of support. Now, I, I'm well aware you could argue, well, no, Clay, I, th I think it's gonna be 422. I think it'll be 421. And I'm not gonna disagree with that, but I mean, we are talking about a, a very big picture view here. I mean, we're looking at multiple months here. So I'm just gonna round it down to the, the, the big round number of $420 there. Uh, but point here being, that does have quite a bit of a track record from the past and it could very well come into play. And if the price does get down to that area, uh, then that's gonna be a big battleground. I don't foresee the price getting down there and then having it just go through. I could see you know, a big battle ensuing in terms of you know, the, the bulls trying to maintain that area. Uh, but to be fair, maybe the price never even gets down to that area. But point here being from the technical point of view, in my opinion, that $420 now mark a very important level. And then as far as areas of resistance, nothing fancy here, just based around a foundational rule in charting, which states when levels of support are broken and closed below, they tend to act as resistance. And you can see here going through the history of things, that purple line there has been, generally speaking, a very, 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 very solid area of support. But now that the price is down below there, it's gonna be considered an area of resistance. So with any sort of attempted bounce back to the upside, right there around, let's just call it 443, is gonna be that first key level of resistance because you know, no guarantees, but I don't think it'd be shocked to, you know, shocking to anybody to see the price bounce up get rejected by that purple line and then roll right back over. So we'll see if that happens, especially with the hammer candle here that's forming. Could see, you know, a little bit of a bounce here, but the question now just becomes, okay, yeah, is this a, a true bounce or is this just some sort of dead cap bounce in that 440? Three mark again, that 50 day moving average is gonna be very helpful in that regard. So 443 key level of resistance, 420 key level of support. Those are gonna be the, my two main overarching technical levels that I think matter most moving forward. Next one, ticker symbol AMC. Now, quick clarification on SPY. We were looking at the daily time frame, but from here on out, we're gonna be looking at what I normally do with these videos, the 30 minute time frame, meaning each one of these candlesticks as they're called represents 30 minutes worth of time. So that'll be how it's set up moving forward and a very rough day here. But the, the thing moving forward here is that as we just saw, it was a very rough day for the entire market. So to look at AMC or any of the other stocks I'm gonna talk about and say, wow, this, oh, this is a massive red flag for AMC. That, that's not really true. I mean, don't get me wrong. It was a bad day, but I mean, it was a bad day for basically every single stock out there. So you kind of do need to keep in mind that general idea that it's not like the company did something wrong. In other words, it would be really bad if today was a super, super good day for the markets. And then here AMC was, you know, down multiple percents. That would be a, a big red flag, but that's just not the case. So just keep that in mind, like I said, moving forward, because all these stocks are going to be looking pretty rough. But with the breakdown today, that now brings about a key update that needs to be made. Again, as I already talked about with SPY, when levels of support are broken and closed below, they tend to act as a resistance. So if there is any sort of attempted continued bounce to the upside, then $44 is gonna be that key battleground point. And I say continued bounce, because you can see here, that 30 minute session and then the final 30 minute session right there, you know, has been a nice green move. So the price is starting to bounce back upwards, but you know, just like the SPY, is that a true bounce or is that just, you know, some sort of dead cap? That all remains to be seen, but $44 will be a good helpful indicator in that regard. And then as far as next potential areas of support or concern, the next overarching level that stands out to me, uh, you know, that could very well come into play here. Sits right down here at that previous breakout point at 3850, which is actually, wow, right where it bounced. So you can see former resistance and then a classic example of this resistance, 
now behaving as support. So I'll go ahead and map out one more area. So 3850 is certainly gonna be that pre preferable level that you see hold strong. Uh, but if that level doesn't hold up, then the next C level would be down there around $36.25. Those again are gonna be the main technical levels moving forward. Next one here, EDSA. And I think this is one of the very few stocks that was actually green today, uh, which, which is saying quite a bit. But nonetheless, there absolutely monster volume down here, which you can see very impressive price movement. So I'm sure there's gonna be plenty of eyeballs watching this one on Tuesday. So let's get some key levels mapped out here. First area for you breakout players out there is gonna be that, you know, just where the price struggled on several occasions today. And that's it right up there, give or take right around $11.60. Uh, you know, and you know, you can see the price actually did slightly get up above it right there. But just generally speaking, you know, that was a problem point. So for breakout players, that'll be an interesting level to watch. Uh, for people that would consider yourself pullback players, the level that really stands out to me sits down there at right around nine dollars and seventy cents. So keep an eye on that. And the interesting thing about that is, and I'm not saying it'll occur, but just for explanation's sake, about uh, you know how the charts got quite a bit of wiggle room in terms of the price pulling back, but the overall chart still remaining bullish. Is that even if the price came down to that area, behaved like that, I mean, what would you still have? Have. You would still have support there. You'd have resistance there. You'd have what is known as a pull portion right there. And you'd have yourself a good solid bull flag pattern. So again, to still have a bullish pattern, even if the price were to drop all the way down from where it is right now, that just shows how strong today actually was. So in all in all, those are gonna be the two key levels. Like I said, 1160 key breakout point. But if you prefer and more to play pullbacks, then right down there around $9.70 is uh, quite the interesting level. Next one, our good friend CEI. I think I've done this one every day for the past couple of weeks, and this one has finally shown that it's human. But again, not because you know the, the stock itself did anything really wrong, but just because the entire market's got absolutely destroyed here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that level. And like SBY, the key level of resistance now, if there is any sort of attempted bounce back to the upside, is gonna be that purple line there for the same exact reason, was a support. Now would be considered an area of resistance. And you can actually see that already played out. So price gap down below it, try to make the bounce early this morning. But look at that, look right where the price got rejected from, literally right at that purple line. So key level to move to watch moving forward gonna be the value of that right around $1.68. As far as levels of support are concerned, the level here that I'm curious about, now that we have another data point, is let's see if the price can at least start to maintain above that trend line right there, which I will change to green to represent more of a bullish dynamic. If the price does not hold above it, then at that point, uh, you really gotta start to consider the fact that that 200 period moving average, the pink line down there, uh, has a very real chance of coming into play. But you also don't wanna get too far ahead of yourself because to be fair, the price is still above that trend line right there. But again, if that level can't quite hold up, I think it's got a good chance of uh, revisiting that 200 period moving average. But overall, big picture, it is still in an uptrend, but yeah, there's no doubt about it. Today was a pretty rough day. Next one, ticker symbol PLTR. And of course, rough day, just like the markets, updates need to be done. Gonna go ahead and get rid of that. And we also have just a, a perfect example of this kind of common theme here that I've been talking about. But this was an area of support right here. But now that you know the price gap down below it this morning, it would be considered an area of resistance. And again, I talked about this in previous videos. So I mean, the power of charts here, why they're such a crazy, you know, crazy good tool to use. Are they perfect? No, but are, are they valid? Absolutely. And again, I, I, if you've never watched my videos, I understand that. No, Clay, you just put that level there before you got the video rolling. I, I understand that. All, all I can really say is go back in the video archive and you'll see I've talked about this level right here as support. But with the price breaking down below it, like I said, you would expect it to act as resistance. Check that out. You can't make this stuff up. Price was down here, bounced all the way up here, and literally got rejected that red, red line before getting pushed all the way to the downside. And like I said, that line was put into play last week. And if you don't believe me, no problem at all. I'm not offended. Just go back in the video archives and you can watch that. But point here being, that's going to be one of the main overarching levels of resistance at 28. A near term level of resistance, though, to keep an eye on now gonna be right there at the $26.97 mark. And then as far as levels of support are concerned, key level to watch if there is any sort of you know movement you know back to the downside, gonna be right there around 25.75. But yes, a rough day for this one, but again, as the common theme says, not necessarily anything wrong with the stock itself, just kind of getting caught up in the overall tide of the market. Next one here, ticker symbol SDC, and it started off very, very nicely. So even though the markets were, were rough this morning, this one actually started off with a gap up, first 30 minutes, green candle, but then that next 30 minutes, you can see there, big red candle, and then from there, it just pay, basically kept pace with the markets, and back down it went. But after today's price movement, definitely some very well-defined areas have uh, arisen. First key level to watch moving forward gonna be that overarching trend line up there. Right around, we'll call it $7.25, $7.30, or right around that general area. Uh, and then as far as supports are concerned, 
you have this gap close location, which came almost into play right here at $6. But I would definitely call you know $6 a muscled area for the reason, I'm not saying this will occur, but if the price were to come down to six and then break down below it, what would that be doing to the price? Well, at that point, that would be literally putting the price well, right back to where it was before the big gap up on Friday. And I mean, not to insult your intelligence, but price movements that go back to where they were, not exactly a sign of true power, genuine strength. Again, I'm not saying that's what's gonna happen, but that is why in my mind, that $6 mark is very important. And then again, if there is any sort of, you know, continued move to the upside, that general trend line up there is definitely gonna be that key battleground point. Next one here, ticker symbol CRVS. And overall, another one of those few stocks that was actually green today. Uh, so the uptrend continues, very, very impressive. And the first update here, just based on that rule, when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you wanna see them act as support. So the ideal level to see hold strong moving forward is now gonna be at $5.80. With that being said, if the price falls below 580, that doesn't mean the entire chart's destroyed or ruined or anything like that. But yeah, I mean, if the price could actually be able to stay above that level, that would certainly be a very impressive sign of strength. Taking a step back and looking at all this from the bigger picture point of view, that's where that purple line continues to come into play. I realize it seems kind of irrelevant right now given it's way down there, but remember that is a moving average, meaning that line's gonna move itself higher and higher as time goes on. In other words, it's basically like a tread line. So I like to call moving averages tread lines for lazy people. If you don't wanna draw a tread line, fine, then this quote unquote tread line's gonna draw itself for you. So point here being that from the overarching standpoint, as long as the price is above that purple line, then the overall trend is still plenty in the bull's favor. And then as far as areas of resistance are concerned, nothing fancy or complicated here. Right up there, give or take around 675 seems to be that new key battleground point. Uh, but like I said, this one is kind of a, a shining star today when so many stocks were red, but this one was actually able to be green. Next one here, ticker symbol A-T-E-R. And again, overall, not a great, great day, but considering the circumstances, I would still consider today a good solid victory as this thing continues to you know chip away and build higher bases. So if you go back, the last week you can see had bases right there of lows and then today had lows right there. So if you envision those as stair steps, you do now start to have some stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. So that's that's a big question moving forward into the week is, you know, can these stair steps continue to be constructed in that upwards direction? So definitely keep an eye on those lows and probably speaking, if the price can stay up above that purple line there again, being the 50 period moving average currently valid, we'll just call it $10.75. That would be a very impressive scenario. Again, if it, if it doesn't hold above there, does that mean that everything's destroyed? By no means would I go that far. But yeah, if you know, as far as you know, Clay, what's going to make this look the, the healthiest, strongest moving forward? Certainly, if the price can stay above 1075. And then, as far as areas of resistance are concerned, got pretty good confirmation that yeah, right up around 1350 is going to be a, a main battleground point. So if you are more of a breakout player, uh, then 1350 seems to be you know that that level that would make the most sense to keep an eye on. Uh, but the week is young, still four days left. So let's see how this one plays out. Next one, very popular one, NIO. And yeah, I mean, the whole kind of thing today started almost because of China. And given this is a China stock, I don't think this caught anybody off guard, but I got to do this typical update, which I've done several times before, but this level there at 36, 50-ish was an area of support, but now that the price is below it, gonna be that area of resistance. So if there is, again, any sort of you know worthwhile bounce, that's where the first big question mark comes into place. Okay, well, let's see how the price behaves around 36.50. So that'll certainly be, like I said, that main area of resistance to any sort of bounce. As far as levels of support are concerned, as you're seeing here, where I'm gonna squeeze back the chart quite a bit, because it has been, oh, wow, a long time. There we go. A long, long time since the price has been down around this area of the chart. I didn't realize it had been this long ago. But yeah, we're now going back here into areas from back there in May. But next level of support to keep an eye on in the nearer term will be right down there around 32.50. And then maybe just call this a support zone. But from 33, or excuse me, 32.50, I'm sorry, what, what did I say? Yeah, 33.50 down to 32.50 would be what I'd consider, what I'd expect to be a very stubborn level of support. That doesn't mean that it can't be broken on the downside, but I would think that the, the, the bears would really have to bring their A game to push down through that area. So definitely keep an eye on, you know, the 33.50 to 32.50 mark as a key level of support. And again, if there is any sort of bounces to the upside, then it's all about that 3650 mark. Next one, ticker symbol TSLA Tesla. And as everything else, very rough day. But I mean, you gotta give credit here. A very, very impressive final 30 minutes. You can see the volume came pouring back in. Nice big green candle. So the very logical pressing question is, okay, you know, is this the start of something bigger? Is this thing, I'm not gonna necessarily say reversing around and going back up to 760, you know, tomorrow on Tuesday, but I mean, is there some more strength to keep an eye on? And the first test of, you know, whether or not there's true genuine strength, 
is going to be all about that pink line right there, the 200 period moving average. You can see this morning price bounced up and you know spent some time right around that area before getting rejected back down. And the current value of Zeta is at 741.50. So in my mind, that's going to be that initial kind of indicator in terms of how strong or maybe weak any sort of bounce is. I Meaning if the price works its way up there and then just blasts up through there, well, at that point, while it's still not a guarantee but of anything, it makes it a more than valid thought of, okay, wow, yeah, there is a lot of genuine strength here. Uh, but if the price goes up there and then gets smacked right back down at that point, okay, yeah, it, odds are that it's probably just some sort of dead cat bounce. But definitely keep an eye on that area from the resistance side of things. As far as supports are concerned, definitely the key level now to watch moving forward going to be right down there around the 7, let's see, what is that, 715 mark. And if 715 can't quite hold up, then at that point, uh, you know, I, I think there's a, a you know valid chance that this thing could you know get down there and potentially retest that $700 mark. Uh, but that really just kind of depends on, of course, first off, if the price even gets down to 715, and if it does, you know, how how big of a break to the downside would it be volume wise? I mean, if it's huge volume, then yeah, that would be pretty pretty sketchy. Uh, but you know, I also don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves because who knows, maybe this is a start of a strong bounce and the price goes up and then 715 never comes into play. But nonetheless, those are going to be the main levels that I'll be watching on Tesla. And that wraps up the top 10. Again, if you liked what you saw, if you can start to see and realize that there is power in the tool of technical analysis to build consistency, to make good decisions, to avoid random decisions, then I want you to get signed up for the class. Like I said, it'll be this Thursday, September 23rd at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Just keep that in mind. And like I said, you'll learn all about and more so technical analysis, how the, how charts should be used, how they shouldn't be used, uh, why things work, and just you know the psychology and such behind them that really do make them such a great tool and how they can help you as a trader. And then as far as this video is concerned and the structure of top 10, if you like these top 10 videos and you would like for me to continue to make these, then let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a basic comment down below. Doing those things communicates to me that it's worth the time and effort. As long as I know that it's worth the time and effort because people are enjoying finding these videos helpful, then I have no problem at all continuing to do them. So again, hit that like button, leave a basic comment. You, you could say hi, you could leave me an emoji or let me know of a ticker symbol that you're watching tomorrow. But hitting the like button and leaving a basic comment really does go a long way in communicating to me that it's worth the time and effort to do these. And then again, as far as the, the class is concerned, I wanna personally invite you to get signed up if you like what you saw here. So yeah, definitely go get signed up and I'll see you on Thursday.